Hi Leo, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Just so you know, all of my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant. I always advise that you watch all three so that you can uh, kind of be clear on how these are all gonna pan out for you. I do utilize astrology and numerology, incorporating all of these into kind of a blend. Um, been doing that for a while now and it kind of works for me. So um, I truly hope that these speak to you and they assist you in some way shape or form and uh, if you haven't already please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby you know I love you for it and just before we start if you don't know I have a new channel I am it is you so you can find the link in the description box below it's solely dedicated to meditations and guided visualizations we started that journey together last year and I wanted to bring you more of it but I wanted to do it properly so uh, go over there and check it out for your um, as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibration good so my ascendant brothers and sisters for your key to the week we have the um we've got the high priestess right so this is it <laughs> if there were ever gonna be a time of the year uh certainly yeah i don't know i just feel like coupled with the astrology if there were ever going to be some interesting or surprising news that was going to make its well way into your life or it's going to make itself known this will be the week remember the high priestess always brings a secret or some hidden information to light so something that you didn't know is about to be revealed to you something that hasn't been shared with you up until now is about to come out and for um um, a select few of you maybe this is something about yourself that you're now ready to share with the world maybe this is some part of your uh, existence that is now you know that you're now sharing with the world so here we go for our actions and options this week we have the death card now this is really interesting for those of you that are spiritually inclined for those of you that are intuitive uh, and Leo is a very intuitive sign Big cats, after all, cats are very intuitive, very psychic beings, um, in my personal humble opinion. Now, one thing that you may or may not know, the death card coupled with the high priestess, that literally represents mediumship. So if you have uh, dreams or intense feelings or visitations or dreams about loved ones that have passed or messages that come from beyond the grave, so to speak, um, pay attention because this could be an energy that pervades this week. The other part of this as well, it may be something uh, that, you know, somebody who's passed may leave a message or you may learn something from somebody who has passed or about somebody that's passed this week. Um, it's kind of like a posthumous uh, 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 energy that's coming through from this. Now on a personal level, remember your death card is culminations, completions and endings. Because this is in your actions and options, this is about what you do. This is a conscious step for you to end something. So for those of you, select few that are in those clandestine affairs, etc. Maybe this is you calling it quits. Maybe there's something that you have been working on behind the scenes that you're saying, actually, you know what? This isn't the right path for me. It's not got a part of my future for your communications and conversations you have the page of cups um i like this so this week pay attention to what comes up because you're going to be revisiting it around the time of june going into july um now what i will say to you is whatever comes up this week may very well be in fact June and July and also uh, late October going into November. Um, these are two times of this year that you really want to keep an eye on. So whatever comes up this week, just remember you will be revisiting it again at some point. Remember that I told you that. Um, now, uh, when it comes to your communications, this week you've got a lot of ideas buzzing around your mind this week. It kind of feels like you're ready to, to amp something up in a lot of ways as well. Now, for those of you that are employed by somebody else, this could be... Um, I don't know, for me, I get the, the sense that maybe a boss or a person in a position of power is going to confide in you. Uh, maybe you are going to be privy to knowledge and information that not everybody has, i.e., you know, there's going to be a job coming up and we're hoping to fill it internally if you're interested. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, if you 
work for yourself, you have your own business, solopreneur, entrepreneur. Uh, I really like this because you could be getting an inside scoop or the, tra the inside track from uh, a friend, from a colleague, from somebody that's in your industry. Or um, if I'm honest, it feels like it's gonna be a gift of some sort for those of you that work for yourselves. It's kind of like, you know, and it might come out of the blue. Maybe somebody just says to you, you know what, I really wanna give you this. Um, are you, you know, are you prepared for it or are you in? Are you interested? For those of you that are uh, retired or no longer working, I mean, this is really nice because it suggests that you have time to pursue your creative endeavors. And for all of you Leos in some way, shape or form, because the Page of Cups is also a very intuitive card. This whole week has a very psychic, intuitive, powerful energy about it. So pay attention to that. And if you don't work or you are, um, retired maybe this is you deciding to put more time and energy into those things or the developing of those gifts for your money and materials of the nine of swords it's not an easy card and it comes here with the death card um now maybe this could be for a select few of you not all of you but for a select few this could be a revenue stream that you counted on could be going away this week uh this could cause you know, any type of untold challenges um, or maybe money that you were relying on this week uh, may not come through, uh, especially if it's something of the nature of a debt. Um, if that is the case, I have to say it's likely that you're not going to get that payback, certainly not in the time frame that you were hoping. Uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, your nine of swords uh, would literally be your... Um, your arms, hands, fingers, this sort of general area. So just look after that sort of space. Mind your fingies when you're, you know, closing doors and whatnot. And um, for your home and environment, there might be something that you want to change this week about the home, but it's kind of like you don't have the right or the liberty to do so. Even if you own your own home, it might be that the resources aren't there. If you are if you live um, you know, in rented accommodation, maybe there's a clash with the neighbors, or do you know what I mean? Like there's something this week that is almost like imposed on you, but you can't really do anything about. Um, if that is the case, there will be a ray of hope that comes in um, from a secret or unexpected source. So don't worry too heavily about it. And remember with the Nine of Swords, sometimes there's the ability to hype it up, you know, like Leo's, we're naturally known darling for being a little bit more theatrical or a little bit more dramatic than, than some of the other signs. Not all, um, I am again generalizing. There's the other side of Leo, which I call the silent dignity type. Like, you know, like you can tell that they like to be adored and all the rest of it, but they're not so overt with their tendencies as the rest of us. Um, yeah, that nine of swords. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill this week, because you know you could you could go overboard with something. For your love and relations, you have the seven of swords. It's a bit of a mixed bag this week. I mean, not easy cards, not particularly great cards either. I have to say. Um, I mean, the high priestess, I love it. It's one of my favourites. Page of cups is actually decent. The other three, yeah, not so easy, but you know we expected this we kind of knew this especially when you look at the astrology uh, of 2021 the fixed signs are getting smashed right so you, now that you know this and it's showing up here in your tower you kind of know what to expect now i did say a secret would be revealed right the seven of swords coupled with the high priestess and with the page of cups here in the middle that could literally be somebody fabricating a lie and the problem is because you've got the seven of swords here in the love and relations this might be somebody close to you that tells you a lie um and the chances are that this week you're going to catch them out in it for any number of reasons the main one being that your intuition is sky high now that doesn't mean that you can be paranoid and start accusing people of things left from right. That's not, you know, that's not the way to, to navigate this energy. It just means that you want to be aware of it. Now, um, the other thing that comes up here as well, for those of you that are single, this is not the week for it. Just, this is not the week, especially like you could meet someone and they could be promising the earth and what they deliver is a rock. It's just the energy for relationships and those kinds of connections are not there. This week I would, you know, hang back 
All right, so not the best of weeks, I'm sorry to say. Uh, remember, I'm an ascendant Leo, so <laughs> you know, I'll take the rough with the smooth and the sweets with the sours. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.